February the 1st, 2020, saw the release of Jazz McFadden's newest single, Change, bringing a three-month production journey to a close. While the year that followed was unique, the experience of making change brought us together and now, as a group, we want to look back at the journey we shared from the end of 2019 to February the 1st, 2020. So we figured to mark the one year anniversary of change, we would gather and give you some stories and some background on everything from how we all got together for working on the project to bringing it to life. So starting off, I'm Daniel, I'm co-director and editor for the music video of change. Joining me is Pamela, the other half of Pam and Dan Creations. You can decide which one, the co-director and principal photographer for the video. Also joining us, we have Heather Varon, who was our makeup artist and Jasmine's social media manager, if you believe the story she told us. <laughs> and joining us as well, we can't do this without her, the star of the video, the person who brought us here for this reason, Jasmine McFadden. Everyone, how are we all doing? Good. Grand. <laughs> good, good, thanks. Excellent. That's what we like to hear. We have to basically, st we'll, st we'll start the story at the beginning, because that's probably the best way for us to do it. So, uh, Jasmine. <clears throat> do tell us like what was where was it that you found like your love for music and wanting to become a singer and a songwriter to be honest i don't know music's always been in my life to be fair like my dad plays like guitar my sister was really into music as well um so i just started teaching myself guitar because they played and then the more i played i started writing more me songs and then that's just for me i was just kind of obsessed from the minute i started playing and i've not really stopped since good reason to carry on i mean <clears throat> it's it happens. You obviously you you learned a bit more at school as well, and it was at school that you met one of the people involved here as well. That's where you and Pamela met. Now, Pamela, you knew Jasmine through high school. So, what was your experience of uh, seeing Jasmine learning her craft and becoming more of a musician? Um, me and Jasmine, we had quite a few classes together at some points, didn't we? But it was yeah. we went through all the music together and third and fourth year and fifth year, um, and part I think part of sixth year as well. Um, so we were always around each other like when Jasmine was playing guitar I was pretending I could play other things just enough to get back um, well, I'm sure. <laughs> yeah oh god don't um, so yeah it was then but we used to go like there was a few of us that used to go up on there was a stage in our school um, where we used to have like an assembly hall and that was where a few of us used to go and we used to like jam and play things that weren't actually supposed to get played in music just because we wanted fun we were bored um and you were all you used to play drums at school didn't you sometimes yeah i'm actually um i only done guitar like i played guitar and music but i only done guitar up until like fourth year drums yeah. i'm actually technically on paper at a higher grade because i continued that to advanced music yeah because i was thinking that i can remember you in the drum room but um yeah, so we used to just faff about in music. I think that's where we kind of got to know each other the most. And yeah. then it was probably about fourth and fifth year that I actually started properly hanging about with Jasmine at school. Um, and, like, you, I remember you used to come in and out of some of the classes because the teachers used to, like... Um, Let like, me to sing. Aye, <laughs> to showcase her. They used to bring her into the different classes and be like, sorry to interrupt your English lesson, but Jasmine's coming to sing you a wee five minute song. <laughs> that all night. The were like, yeah, right. As if can you not do this at lunchtime or something. And, um, she, it was as if she was getting wheeled in on like a platform or guitar <laughs> ready to play. Like. Um, so yeah, it was during those times at school, it was good fun though. It was back when it was like less stress and it was more fun related. Um, and that was where we properly started <laughs> hanging out. And I say jamming, it was everybody else jamming and me prancing about like an idiot. <laughs> <laughs> Updating us on Twitter. <laughs> I mean, whatever works. And, you know, we'll, we will obviously bring in this part. So the other, uh, the other member of this group involved here is <laughs> Heather, who, you know, I obviously, didn't, I obviously didn't know much about Heather before we met, but Jasmine, you've known Heather for a lot longer than us. So where did you two meet? We met through uni. Yeah, we were done the classes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And then we just kind of started hanging out. She was one of those people I've, I've genuinely seen. You know, you're just like, I want to be friends with you. 
Yeah. Like, <laughs> it's like you've walked in the class, you've seen on your like my energy's pulling me. Totally. I, I was literally like, I want to be friends with you, so that's going to happen. <laughs> right, Heather can tell you like what I was wearing and all that. The oh, first yeah. day I walked, I walked into uni and before we'd spoke or say hi, she's like, you're wearing that shirt. At all. <laughs> <laughs> Heather's walked in like Sheldon Cooper and Big Bang, just like that. I've got a friendship agreement here, so I need to know that this is going to happen. And um, once you sign it, you kind of leave. <laughs> Well, I mean, look at us now. Look at us now. The rest is history. Mm. Very true. And then also with uni came some interesting things for myself and Pamela, but more so afterwards because we graduated uni in the same ceremony when we didn't know each other. And then a few months later, we start talking. (laughs) It's a very strange love story when you think about it. (laughs) But um, A modern day fairy tale. So sweet. (laughs) Oh, it's brilliant. But eventually, obviously, I, I'd i done, like, video work for, well, I'd say video work. I've been kind of teaching myself video work for, I'd say, probably the best part of eight years at that point. And it, was, it wasn't really going anywhere, but Pamela kind of helped me get kind of reinvigorated into wanting to do that again. And we did a couple of things together uh, under the term, under the name PB Snaps originally. It was about October 2019 that we started talking about possibly working together, but you've had change in the pipeline for a while, haven't you? Yeah, I'm trying to actually remember when I first wrote it, but it had been been quite a while because I had the idea. It's, it didn't change when I was wanting to get hey. the music video. Uh, <laughs> that's always been like the, the way I wanted the video to be. Like different people coming in, the boards being held up, like it was the same. Um <clears throat> But I think I wrote it a couple of years before we actually like, actually recorded it, maybe two years or something, a year, two years before. Yeah, because yeah. I, I remember uh, when we were doing the work, I found a clip on your Instagram of you performing a version of it during a sound check, and it just sounded fantastic. I remember that, actually, because oh. remember, I remember we went and looked up stuff, because <laughs> you, before we actually went and when you recorded with, um, we got on it, but like Graham, and um, we went on to your page just to have look, look through because Daniel obviously hadn't really heard much apart from yeah. Spotify. And um, we went back and looked at like the covers and the originals that you'd done. And we found it, remember? I remember sitting that night and we, we found it and I was like, hang on, because it sounded a bit different back then. It didn't yeah. sound exactly the way it did now. Um, but when we found it and I was like, oh my God, she's had this for like literally donkeys. Oh, well, because I think <laughs> that soundtrack was for... I was supporting Hugh and Cry, and mm. that would have been in 2018. So, yeah. and I'd written it a while before then. So maybe 2017 mm. I wrote it. I don't know, but it's been yeah. a while yeah. before getting it out. Let's now go to the the day that the four of us all get to meet for the first time, <laughs> and mm. what a day it was, because we meet on the day that Jasmine actually records the song, and you recorded it with uh, Graham Duffin, the touring guitarist of Wet Wet Wet. I could literally hear my aunt in my ear just yelling, <laughs> ask him about Marty, ask him about Marty, ask him about Marty. <laughs> uh, but we went up to Graham's house. First off, how lovely is the place? Oh, so nice. I know, it's stunning. Oh, it is. I, I feel so at home just like when mm. we were sitting there. We had the fire <clears throat> on, remember? <laughs> oh, yeah. I remember that. You went in up. <laughs> so, just like, I make yourself cosy, why don't you? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Because we, um, we did the, the day up at, at Graham's and I just remember like, getting to be in there when we were recording the bits because the first thing we were doing was recording just little clips of you actually recording the song. Mm-hmm. And I, sh- I just remember being happy for like a couple of shots. There's one shot of your guitar, which I was just over the moon with. That was also me just thinking, oh, this camera's actually pretty damn good. And then the next bit was I actually have the take where you record the the big vocal in the bridge like yeah. I, like i actually have that tape and that's what's in the promo video that we yeah. put out at that point like had you worked with graham before that yeah i start i first met graham uh oh gosh i think i was i just turned 16 and I was going to record my album and um, I was taken to meet 
to meet Graham and he was so lovely then as well but I was I was just a wee baby so Graham literally yeah. is, he's so sweet but he sees me I think because he's sweet like him and his friend Ian as well I don't know Ian White he's also a singer they're like my little my little supportive uncles in the industry <laughs> but like I've been around I've been around Graham's family as well for quite a while um so I've known Graham for ages but he's just so amazing that's why I keep going back to him to record because he just his work is so insane I just I just love taking a piece to him and see what he does like yeah. I've known him for ages he's such a good guy I love him I think it's nice though when you're in that environment because obviously Graham's been at like music for so so long like yeah even when we were sitting in and he was mixing your song you can hear like his sound on it as well yeah. even though it's, like it's yours and it sounds like what you wanted you can hear his own wee twist on it I think it's Definitely. so nice because there's so many people I think that have got like a bit of a bad name for being known to not be like so welcoming and how like hostile yeah. get into music yeah. can be so I think it's really nice when you meet someone who like understands that when you like learn a skill and you've got a talent like that it's about sharing it it's not yeah, definitely. like sharing mm-hmm. it isn't going to mean that nobody's mm-hmm. going to be interested in you anymore or like what you can do uh-huh. um, and he's just one of those guys that does that and he's so like open to anyone especially yeah. because like obviously us the rest of us three haven't ever met him apart from that one time and yeah. going to the house and he was so like he was so nice and his hospitality was lovely as well. So yeah, um, it's really nice when you meet people like that. I just remember like walking into that room, seeing all the guitars on the wall and just going, I want to play that one. I want to play that one. I want <laughs> to play that one. <laughs> it's probably in your mind going, going like that, touch my guitars. And... Yeah. <laughs> like, there there probably wasn't anything like that. But you, you could tell the amount of work that he's put into it because his, his room is just wall to wall, like record plaques. Yeah. It is... It is brilliant to see, yeah. but I remember because we we got Pam and I got there first, and we were like, "Is this the place?" And uh, <laughs> like, and, did we his door? Did we say, oh, yeah, I'm like, what do we do?" And then, for Jasmine. Uh, <laughs> yeah, we we waited for you two. You two arrived, and I just remember Heather getting out the car and just going, "Hi guys, I'm uh, Jasmine, social media manager." <laughs> And I just remember, like, throughout the day, like, obviously, while you were working with Graham, like, Heather, Heather would have your phone just like, right, Jasmine, so and so's messaged you. Oh, okay, just say blah, blah, blah. Okay, okay. <laughs> just like, I remember that because she was pulling you up. She's like, that Jasmine, I know. you've got far too many messages. Why are you not replying to these people? <laughs> I was clearing all your wow. notifications. <laughs> I've got Colin yet in a podcast. Like, <laughs> like Jasmine, an email for such and such is that important? Not delete. No, I know. <laughs> All I just couldn't help was pit was picture Graham there, just like trying to like get the beat sorted out, just going. <laughs> oh, <no. laughs> <Answering> <laughs> <our messages. laughs> just like, oh, wow. okay, what's going on here? Uh, but yeah, one of the other things I remember is, so we get all the shots for the promo video, and like you go into the room with him to do more like work on the song like building harmonies and such and so pam myself and heather all just like sat in the living room i'm starting to work away on the video that we had then and at one point we start to hear a bit of the song like from the room and i think heather must like been maybe zoned out for just a brief moment and then all of a sudden she just like snaps back in and just goes i hear it (laughs) it was like an awakening (laughs) i can hear the song (laughs) <laughs> yeah, it, it started this wonderful running gag between us of just, I hear it. <laughs> <coughs> just, uh, it, it, and it was it was great just like hearing it go from... Hearing it? Like, I hear it. <laughs> so obviously, Jasmine and Pamela knew each other. Myself and Pamela, as we'll get to when we, but we, like, we, we do each other. <laughs> Heather, that was the, like, Heather, that was the first time you got to meet me and Pam. What were your thoughts it on us? Do you know what? I think we all got on so well that day and I remember leaving, not to get all cringy, but I remember leaving and I did say to Jasmine, I was like, those two are honestly so nice. The best vibes I got from you all day. And as you know, because I did ask if you could personally be friends with me, as I do. <laughs> <laughs> yep, I remember that. I did want to be pals <laughs> and hang out because I just thought you were so nice and so down here. I and mean, then we get our friendship contracts. That's when I knew. <laughs> <laughs> the moment. <laughs> Article Article 15, subsection C, paragraph 4, 
it states here <laughs> that should we require it, uh, Heather is to be our social media manager. Just <laughs> <laughs> like choosing my friends, don't I? <laughs> that, uh, at the bottom of the page, you'll find clause one, the only clause that if it turns out you're a BAM, then this ceases. <laughs> <laughs> BAM's not welcome. <laughs> oh, no, honestly, the best vibes. Like, I'm so, nah, 100%. The best people, honestly. Would you say, like, when we were sitting in Graham's that day and we were sitting talking about what you wanted the video to look like, you were kind of like, this is a message of the song and the vision I have for it. Do you think, like, from the get-go we got that? Or was it a oh, thing yeah. that built over time? Or did it take, like, maybe a wee tweak here and there and things like that changed? No, I actually felt um, from when me and you, Pamela, met up the first time before we'd recorded the song that I felt like you really got what I was feeling what I was thinking and you were adding an ideas like I felt like before the song was even recorded that you, you we had the same kind of ideas and it was yeah, yeah no I did you did say that to me you said like you'd mm-hmm. met up with Pamela and you were like I'm really wanting to go through with the music video with them and I remember yeah. you saying that as well no definitely <clears throat> you're on the emotions I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> but, um, <laughs> so we have that day up at Graham's we record the promo video we discuss kind of like our first plans for the actual music video but then it was now a matter of finding a location to actually film the thing and Pam you did give us quite a good helping hand with that didn't you? Yeah so I'm on the board for a charity that's in um, the south side that's actually local but it's pretty local to all of us um, called Swamp so they are using like um like the creative industry, so music, um, filming, photo, everything um, as a way to deliver like youth services and other programmes. And they also like um, help kids get through their schooling and academics and things as well. Um, they're SQE qualified to do that. But yeah, their venues kitted out for um, mostly music, but they have a giant green screen room that we could use. Um, and so I just asked Andy Palin, who's the lovely gent that let us in, um, if we could use the green screen. He offered it up to us um, on specific days. So that's how we went about and got the video done. So what was it, over two days? Two, two days, yeah. So we did, we did one day in December and then we did another day in uh, early January. Yeah. Um, it was so fun, wasn't it? Oh, it yeah. was. I'm glad we had. I'm glad we split it though because yeah, I feel like we had enough time to get everything done, but it wasn't. We didn't give ourselves too much time. I yeah. just remember that first day though. Like, do you remember because Jasmine, your mum was like, "Listen, we're going to need to make sandwiches and get wee snacks <laughs> coming in." Do you know, know? It was actually strange because when we were re- when we were planning to record it, and we were planning out how to bring everyone in because we ended up. How many people did we have in that video? Got so to be close to like 20 or something. Yeah, a lot. Uh, yeah. There yeah. like time slots all throughout the day, remember? Yeah. <laughs> so we're like giving time slots to people. So we're like, you come in at half 10, right? You'll be half an hour, right? You mm-hmm. come in at 11 and all that. So yeah. that we could work around people's schedules and whatnot. Yeah. Yeah. Um, it was like working to COVID restrictions before COVID had even happened. I know. Like, I know. Like, you came in because we don't have stories in the room at that point. We can all be socially distanced. Um, <laughs> Yeah, and like your mum had and you and Kira had made up the like these platters and things and that was, was so funny. Oh, <laughs> I made up platters, you I did. had no help. Mm. I'd done that myself. <laughs> right, I sorry, made them Kira, all. sorry, Shit, <laughs> not you. Um I made them but, all. but that was quite that was quite good. Uh, yeah. we turned up with a setup as if we were going to be there for weeks on end. I know. And, um, <laughs> no, I think those two days worked out quite well. We didn't have too much time, but we didn't mm. cut ourselves off either. But yeah. no, that was a great help from Andy and Swamp letting us in to use that because mm-hmm. thankfully because I don't think the green screen's available anymore because it's been damaged from all the years of use. Yeah, really? Um, yeah, like it needs a complete repaint <clears throat> but because they've switched buildings and things like that they're not really too mm-hmm. focused on that thing now. Yeah. Um, but it was such a cracking space. It was so big. We it was, oh, it was. Freezing uh, cold but good. I know. <laughs> yeah, it was that. that. Do you know that way? See, when you're on your feet all day and you're doing different stuff, you start heating up so you don't mind the cold. <laughs> like, do you want the heating on? Like, no, thanks. Like, my <laughs> I'm good. Enough. If anybody stands close enough to me, they'll feel about 30 degrees. I think it'd be criminal if we did not mention two other people who were kind of essential in us actually making the thing. 
uh, first off, Kira, for helping out with transporting, you know. Kira was our roadie. She was yeah. one yeah. that like, just pack it all in my car. She even went with the dogs. I know. <laughs> Kira's like that. Do you need something? We'll run up in the car and get it. And we'll <laughs> so we had we had Kira and then also um, uh, Liam who came down mm-hmm. and provided another camera for us to work with. Uh, and also that meant the second day uh, we could get more involvement because the main thing with the video is as the sto- as the song progresses, you see people holding signs of what love is. Yeah. Uh, and that was, as you said earlier, something that you always had that vision of. And so obviously we wanted a good number of people to do that. And we had like an endless list of people like for that. Yeah. And um, it was it was great to see that happen. But the main thing is like, so everyone's standing there. So we do like the first sort of shot of everyone kind of standing there, just, you know, kind of almost somber for like the first part of the song. And then as everything's picking up and we get to the happy part of the song, you get, you know, everyone laughing, which in reality mm-hmm. is just me telling really bad jokes off screen. <laughs> right, so I once had to tell a man who was wearing camouflage who stole my wallet and he was using a crutch, you can hide, but you can't run. <laughs> I mean, well, pa- Pamela's, Pamela's face said it all right there. <laughs> that just because I've heard them all about a hundred times. Well, you said yes, so you're going to have to deal with that. Um, <laughs> I was just like, I did, damn it. Scandalous. <laughs> yeah. I was also, actually, that's one thing I do remember is because between uh, the day at Graham's and then the first day at Change, Pam and I got engaged. Yeah. And, it was, and I loved Heather's reaction when we just walked in and went, by the way, we got news. <laughs> I know. <laughs> Such adult life changes for someone that feels so like a child. <laughs> <laughs> now you have to add out. <laughs> uh, still not there. No, but it was um, it was very good, like doing all the work on it because uh, Heather, you sorted out Jasmine for uh, her makeup on the video. You also did a wee bit for Pam as well. So oh, yeah, what, I did. <laughs> like, cause you did a lovely, um, I believe, a rainbow uh, eyeshadow for Pam. Yeah. If I remember correctly. Yeah, but I sure, I accidentally got green put in my eyes and it blended in with the green screen. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Part of my yeah. <laughs> yeah, that, that happened. So we, I think we had to retake that on the second day. Um, mm-hmm. It was really good just to have everyone there because we had, you know, Jasmine, you had a whole lot of friends that came in. Uh, we had, like, obviously we got Liam down with uh, with his wife and, his, and their son. And yeah. it was great just to have this atmosphere going as well because obviously we did say about time slots and stuff but Liam Kirsten and the wee man they stayed for the whole day they were with us from when they arrived so they were giving us like laughs because you know some of the takes you'll see everyone on the stage doing whatever they're wanting and in the background all you'll hear is Andrew like you know yibbering away (laughs) (laughs) you wanted to go on an adventure that room was far too big for what was he two at the time yeah two (laughs) To yeah. and with a uh, very lovely hair. Oh, yeah. Yeah. oh I know. Yeah, I, hair. I know. I like it. it. It got cut by the time of the wedding later in the year, but it yeah, was grown at the time. But she changed her mind. Yeah, it was. He started was... looking like a wee surfer child. <laughs> <laughs> like the coolest surfer child ever. Yeah. <laughs> um. So we we started the video because the main thing that we were wanting to do on it was obviously that sense of everyone coming together and being happy. And I just remember like, the, cause there was shots that I remember just seeing everyone being so happy with. Cause it was like the shot, the one obviously that will mean a lot to you, Jasmine, is you, your mum, uh, Tyler, and is it Shan that you were there with? Yeah. Like it was the, like the four of you together. And then there's the shot of you, uh, Heather, Kira, and Carly just all dancing away together. <laughs> you got it so natural as well. That's why it was so nice because it was totally in the moment. Yeah, Definitely. a lot of it we just left the camera rolling because now yeah. attempt. Like I even know myself, I'm quite awkward in the beginning. Yeah, you're like, where have I to look? Yeah. What have I to do? Mm-hmm. And you're trying to like, as much as you're trying to take instructions, when you're the person giving instructions, you're so cautious of how the other person feels. Yeah. Especially yeah. because like, we were trying to get such a diverse range of people. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah. 
from like different backgrounds and different life experiences you're mm-hmm. so mindful of how other people feel so we're just like just leave it rolling because we'll end up catching something and that might fit better than when they're trying to actually do yeah. what we told them yeah mm-hmm. um, so a lot of them was like um was it abby and her boyfriend um abigail came, yeah abigail sorry um we managed like those two laughing just like randomly at each other because they were they were laughing at trying to laugh because yeah. they were like oh my yeah. god feels so ridiculous <laughs> that ended up looking so much better anyway yeah 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 I, I do remember um i think it was when i think because neve was the first one that we did if i remember correctly early yeah. bills <laughs> um, uh she yeah she early bills she came in and filmed with us and it was like me telling jokes and the best shot i got was i told a joke that she got the punchline like literally a few seconds later and she just has this brilliant laugh that's in the video yeah um <laughs> such an animated facial expression she's amazing honestly she's so funny it was it was really good doing it because the the main thing i love about the the concept of the video was you know everyone could have like a meaningful message on that board Mm -hmm. and going back to liam and kirsten it meant that much to them they have that they have that photograph framed in their house oh that's so nice and it was even on display during their wedding so yeah oh like you know, you could tell that it resonated with everyone just being able mm-hmm. to go and do it. Yeah. Uh, but we had our we had our two days of filming in there, and mm-hmm. like the main thing that I was happy with was when we were going towards the second day. I remember that you had mentioned um, mm-hmm. it's like a little part thing that you was it someone made it. Yeah, yeah my mom. Mm-hmm. Right, so yeah, your mom, your mom had made this your mom had made this heart out of cardboard and you wanted to involve that in the video in some way yeah and it was between the two days i thought of the intro of tyler standing there holding the heart and everyone mm-hmm. walking in slow motion around him yeah uh-huh. and it was just which was so good yeah it was amazing it's like, like, just that idea of like um because obviously uh, we'll touch on it and we can splice it in daniel but like obviously the meaning of the song is feeling like you don't fit in because of the way like the world looks at you and who yeah. you are as a person. So it was almost like something that's internal that you try and protect because you feel attacked for who you're being. Yeah. It's like on the outside for you to actually see. Mm-hmm. So it gives you like that mm-hmm. kind of visual for the like the meaning behind the song and things mm-hmm. like that. Yeah, because yeah. then we. <laughs> We had him like stand there holding it, this like the slow zoom into him, uh, and I put like a heartbeat, which was um, me doing some kind of mix, and that's actually just a kick drum that I filtered the living daylights out of <laughs> just to make it sound like a heartbeat. Just like that, we didn't um, steal the heart sound from the beginning of the casualty theme song. <laughs> <laughs> just thought we'll not go down that route. Yeah, no, not we'll make it authentic. True. Fun Oops. fact, I actually had to play the theme tune to Casualty for my higher music practical exam. <laughs> Do you remember On it? keyboard. Uh, <laughs> vaguely, I remember. <laughs> <laughs> so we wrapped up the second day of filming. We got the intro with Tyler sorted out. And then we, it was like a back and forth process of us sending like drafts of the video that we had edited out. And... Like while I was sorting the, the video out, Pam, you had, you know, the job of sorting out the photos for the project. So what was your experience like working on the photos for what we got on the video? Oh, I just was mainly trying to get ahead of you because I thought everyone can have their own photos of themselves to use to put up to say that they were part of it and things like that. And I had aimed to kind of shoot everything so that Jasmine had like some social media content on the roll up for like the month or so before. <laughs> so I'd done mostly a bulk photos on the first day and the second day was catching everyone who was just coming in. Um, so I just always find the best way I do photos is to, if they're all in the same environment, so your lighting's not changed and things like that, then it's just really easy to make a preset and just apply it to them all and adjust it here and there, um, depending on each person, because obviously you'll get some people who take to the light different than others. 
Um, so I found it quite quick to get through my end of things and then it was just kind of turning hand to the video. It was quite unique for playing because obviously I had to line it up. So literally, if you'd seen the what it looked like in the program that I used to edit it, it is, you know, take one from the left, take two from the right, take one center. Like It's all these different angles that we took because we did goodness knows how many takes of the song and I had to like match it all up just so that way it all fit. And then once I sorted that out, then I can splice in uh, everyone holding the boards and the bits that we needed. Because the one bit where we had to do a lot of stuff was when there's a a brief section before the second pre-chorus and it's you, Jasmine, holding up uh, different translations of Love Always Wins. Yeah. Uh, like that was one that was quite good because I remember there's like one where it's like, She's kind of like standing normal, like this side, that side, happy smile, like, you know, big, like, grins yeah. like that. It's just all these different takes. And, you, like, there's, there was no easy way you could do it. But, you yeah. know, I, I was happy doing it that way because I wasn't going to go, like, you know, edit the board so it just came up, like, you know, English, Chinese, oh. French, Spanish, Italian. Yeah. Like, I wasn't going to do it like that. When we done the first day on December, um, not on December, in December, um, you started editing that from then because we were like, we've got clips, so we know what to do with them. Mm. And then it comes to the second day, we do the same, and then we just put it all together. So it was just to kind of like, instead of having nothing to do between December and January, apart from planning and getting things sorted mm. and contacting folk, it actually kept us busy. Yeah, because <laughs> we had um, because we had enough to make a video there. But, yeah. you know, we just figured that we'll, we'll obviously do the other day and get more things in because... The intro originally for the video was just Jasmine walking onto the stage and picking up the guitar. Mm. Yeah. Like we filmed that, but then we thought, mm, doesn't quite go for yeah. what we're wanting. And then we came up with the idea of Tyler holding the heart, which, you know, got the idea of the story more. You'll know the reason why you wrote the song. Do you feel that uh, the video caught, like, captured every single one of those reasons for why you made that song? Yeah, no, I definitely do. 100%. Because. The whole point in writing the song was like, because obviously the big talk normally that people address within like the community is it's normally, oh, the parents don't accept or <laughs> it's all about the other people. But really why I wrote the song is because a lot of the time it's within yourself you don't accept and it's not the people around you that aren't accepting you. It's you just feel that way and you're not accepting it because I know I was like that. Um, mm -hmm. And I just feel like the song itself with everybody's different opinion on what they feel love is and stuff, it just kind of reflects that because it was their own answer and their own emotion. And, yeah, no, I really, I, I feel the, the video complements the song. Definitely. Everyone's going to felt connected to that video in different uh -huh. ways as well because it was also personal, do you know what I mean? Yeah, like everyone definitely. had their own meanings for things. Yeah, no, uh -huh. even the people who have seen it that maybe wouldn't have had the answers that were there but could have think of their own. Mm -hmm. yeah. Um, if you look at the video realistically, Tyler starts out the video on his own. Everyone else just walking past him by him. At the end of the yes. video, he's got you there. He's got everyone else there. Yes. Mm -hmm. It's this journey of feeling on your own, and uh -huh. then like realizing that you can, like you know, it, who you are is what will be accepted. Yeah. Like, mm -hmm. You know, there's no reason to feel like you won't be you know people won't want anything to do with you like you'll be who like you are who you are like at the uh -huh. end of the day and everyone will love you regardless yes yeah, so nice fun. i'm getting emotional <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's how we were feeling that's it too yeah <laughs> that's, 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 that's being unapologetically yourself and if there's people that aren't yeah. going to accept it then you find people yeah. who aren't yeah, it, yeah it, it was it was a pride anthem without actually being during pride. That's yeah, the best I way know, to look at I it. Um, but so February first, uh, twenty twenty came along, and the video went out. And uh, like Jasmine, what was the reception that you saw to the video? Like, how did people respond to it? Well, I first showed it. Obviously, I watched it with like my mum and that, and then I went over to Heather's and we watched it with her friend Neve, who was in the video, and her friend. Yeah. And um, Neve actually was crying, and I'm pretty sure Heather was as well. I still, yeah, I still actually the have still. the vid... I still have the video from that. Yeah. And, and I got... Watching it. I'm not going to lie, I got emotional watching it, because yeah. uh -huh. I was just so happy that the work that, like, 
the work we did on the video just it got what we wanted. Yeah, it got the response yeah. we wanted. And you know, to see everyone just enjoying the video so much. Like, I, I felt so, I felt so sorry for Neva. I just wanted to hug her there. I was just I like, know. I mean, we just made the video. Heart. It's okay. <laughs> it's gonna be okay. I know. No, definitely. A lot of people had that that same response. To be honest, like quite emotional or like overwhelmed. Not necessarily everybody cried, but they all felt quite yeah. emotional when watching it. And I think no matter who they were when they watched it, it was a bit of a oh feeling. If you know, it's what I mean, a really like powerful that. song. Like it is dead raw. Do you know what I mean? Like mm. it is touching. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, but that's the thing, no, is like it kinda takes you on a bit of a like it does take you on a bit of a journey because in the beginning you feel quite like you feel like you're taking on the emotions. Like I can only speak for myself. So obviously in the video we had lots of people who are gay, bisexual, transgender, parents to someone who is in one of those categories or just people who have been through things that Yeah, the community. Mm. Yeah, and they've struggled mm-hmm. either with themselves or like other people accepting them. I've yeah. personally never been through that because I don't consider myself to be um, gay, bisexual, or transgender, or anything like that. So I was doing that completely like as an outsider. So I'm watching all these mm-hmm. people who have gone through all these different things that I've never experienced. But although I've never experienced, I can empathise with them mm-hmm. because I understand how horrible that must be to mm-hmm. not feel accepted and even though times have changed like they're still nowhere near where they should be yeah. so you really feel like you're taking on a journey because you feel like you're taking on all that emotion that someone else has gone through mm-hmm. and to see it come out as happy in the end I think it's important because a lot of people always say like if it's not okay then it's not the end and yeah um a lot of people might not be in a position in their life where they've got to that happy place yet, but they yeah. will get there. And there is always light at the end of the tunnel, and I think that's what the song shows, is like, yeah, just because the people you're around or your family or you might not feel that way just now doesn't mean that you'll never feel that way. Yeah. Yeah. You've just got to always stay true to yourself. You've got a gut instinct. And what's the point in living a life that you know isn't meant for you? Yeah, to keep people, everyone else happy. <laughs> Yeah, you know I mean? like your life's for a living, it's not to please anyone else. Yeah. So I think that's the thing that always rings through because when we obviously when we were putting it all together and filming it, I'm just in my own wee bubble, like, right, we need to do this, we need to do this and make sure we get everything because we're not going to get the time again. And uh-huh. then it wasn't until we actually watched it through the first time I was like, oh, my God, like, I can't believe we've done this. I can't believe Jasmine's mm-hmm. got this song. And, like, yeah. <laughs> people are standing in front of it and doing it. So, um. You feel like you get taken on a journey with that, I think, mm-hmm. definitely. I don't know if you felt the same way. Oh, no, definitely. And I also feel like it wasn't until I was that same as you, caught up and recording the song, getting the video done, filmed. It wasn't until the end and I seen it all together and it was actually out that I was like... Yeah. That actually came together the way that mm-hmm. I hoped and that mm-hmm. it gave the message that we were all wanted to get out there. Yeah. Just, so I think it just, like, it... Met, I went above the expectation I think any has had yeah. that it would in the end you mean Daniel uh, just look, we've even shocked ourselves we <laughs> yeah. surprised ourselves to be honest just like just I never expected that video stuff, but wow <laughs> well, oh. no I know but I love it it's not the song I mean like in general the video and so I'm like I love myself no, it feels like, timeless the, though like, it's a, I think it's a message that will always ring true yeah so with everything that we've done uh with change what are you thinking now for the future are you like I, i'm hoping at least you'll still want to do some more work with us because we would love to do more work with you definitely well, i've actually already got a song that i was planning to be in the studio in february but that's not going to happen i've messaged graham mm-hmm. but and we'd planned it but now with COVID, that's not happening. But there is a song that I'm wanting to get recorded and then was going to speak to you guys about another video. So there is already one there with a plan. It's just a matter of when we'll be allowed. It's, I know. It's just what we need to wait on. But there is doesn't a song ha- already waiting. It doesn't happen to be a song about social distance and stuff, does it? No. <laughs> <laughs> it's not a COVID song, I'm afraid. No, yeah. <laughs> It's, no, a, it's, a, it's a lovely song about coming together. It's called Stay Away. <laughs> it's called Six Meters. <laughs> yeah. But yeah. 
So there's already one there, and I'm excited for doing it. It's just a matter of when we're allowed. It's I know. Of course. I mean, I I remember because obviously we did change, and then we did um, we did a couple of acoustic numbers. Uh, yeah. One day as well. So I'd ha- I'd love to do more of them. Yeah, definitely. I would like to get more of them done for sure. It's just again when when we'll be allowed. <clears throat> but as soon as we are, I'd definitely like to get that. Yeah, I mean, I mean like, we'll, we'll film it obviously and you know if you need a second guitar not advertising at all <laughs> I'm gonna say, like, number arm. it would be so good if we all could actually like play instrument like different instruments we could be like John mm. Baptiste and stay human oh yeah <laughs> we could even just do um, it over zoom <laughs> folks that has been one year since change and I hope everyone's enjoyed hearing us all share these stories about you know the process and just the general fun we've had but first off i'll thank everyone who's been on here so uh the other half of pam and down creations pam thank you very much heather thank you very much for being here with us thank you for having me <laughs> and of course the part the reason why we're all here jasmine thank you thank you do check out the video on jasmine's youtube we'll link it in the description below in the meantime folks Take care, stay safe, and (laughs) just enjoy the video, okay? (laughs) (laughs) Bye.